Okay guys, today we're going to be changing this carburetor on this scooter. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, as you can see I've already got the seat out. It's sitting over there, and it's just held on by. Uh, where you at? There's a nut that goes on this stud, nut there. There's one down here, and one right there. And that pulls, oops, that pulls that whole assembly up out. Okay, it's the cargo bay and seat. So, what I'm going to do? You don't have to take this off, but I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off to show you just for uh, uh, video purposes. So what we're going to do right now, let me see that. Only in a little bit there. There's two screws here and then it just, you know, those clips, it just pops right out. I'm just going to set them aside right there. That'll be my little workbench. And that's all there is to that. You can have that apart within five minutes. Okay, guys, what we're looking at here, got you on the stand, and there's the engine. There's the carburetor right there. Right there's the carburetor. Now, what you can do, there's a screw right here. You loosen that, it's a clamp. And that'll pull your box off, your uh, air breather box, which comes clear out here to the side to get air. And you can take this loose and loosen that one and kind of wiggle it and bring it out. You got to be careful, there's some cracks in this, but it's not in the part where it's sucking air. And then, of course, you have to unhook the throttle cable, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And we have to unplug the choke. This is an automatic electric choke. Just follow it around. And there's the plug for it. Can you see that? Because I can't see the screen. And just fish that over here out of the way. Just for now. Okay? Now what I've done, I've already, you can take take this choke out there's a screw over here on this side and a little screw on this side and there's a little keeper there and I'm just going to go ahead and take it out because the carburetor that I have got has all that with it now right here guys there's that little clip that holds the choke in just goes around it screw here and a screw there. Focus on, see that? Okay. Now, that way for now. This carburetor, this it does run, but it doesn't run right. It's lacking power. It's got a uh, kind of a funky idle to it. So now you're going to want to unhook the fuel line, and it comes right down here. Get you guys over this way a little bit here. Right here's the fuel line. Now some sometimes these have a little clamp. It'll look similar to this. This one apparently does not have one. So just pull it off there. Now you will get a little bit of leak, leakage but it's not going to run out and I'm just going to clip it up I'm just going to put you put this line right here on this stud just like that so I'm going to do now like I said it's not going to come pouring out because damn I got a battery light blinking it's not going to come pouring out because this has a fuel pump on it and the fuel pumps right here on the side 
okay so let's keep going on with this so I'm going to loosen this clamp up for the breather box and it just pulls up right off just like that and it'll turn up out of your way you can actually take it clear off but I'm just going to move it up here out of the way and we're going to do the same thing with this one I know what you're thinking throttle still hooked up yeah it is but I'm not worried about that at this second now loosen this up until it moves freely and you should be able to wiggle that right off of there now right here I don't know if you guys can see that that's where your throttle cable comes around too so what you're going to want to do is put that on full throttle like that pull this your cable out a little bit and it slides right up out of that there's a little closer look now this has a drain on it that's to drain like after a while you know every every so often pull this this little plug out it goes down underneath down here by the breather box by your kickstarter um, and that's that's all there is to that now it's going to be easier for me to loosen this bolt or nut okay so yeah this goes down by the breather box you'll see it there's supposed to be a screw in it apparently it's missing one but I'll put one in it when I get the new carburetor which does come with that so let me grab a wrench or two size that is I'll let you know in here in just a second 12 millimeter okay and I just dropped my tent okay so what we're gonna do here guys right here see this is an adjustment you really don't want to fiddle with that unless you have to so what you're going to do is only loosen one of these which is going to be let me move this back is going to be this one okay this is the one you're going to take off and you can pull it back and I'll show you right now the other one is a jam nut that holds it into place there so what you're going to want to do is take this nut off okay battery lights still blinking just a second ago it said 33 minutes okay now that's going to hold it on there it can't come off you won't lose it now you just slide this back like that and then slide that up through that slot and your carburetor is off that's all there is to that now this one is a I believe a 19 millimeter right here on the inside diameter I think it's 19 millimeter you check all all these online and you can get these cheap so there's that now I'll show you how to put this all back together here in just a minute and I'm going to change the battery too so hang tight guys I'll be right back okay guys we're back have the new carburetor right here you see it all brand new I've checked it on the bench alongside the other one to make sure everything was the same. It's all the same. So we're good to go to put on our new carburetor. Get that out of the way. Let's slide it on here. Just like that. Now, I showed you guys how to get the throttle cable off it goes back on just backwards of how you took it off just slides in there and there you go and this what's going on here there we go alright 
getting a little concerned there for a minute. Looked the same. I was like, oh no. Okay. Now, I'm going to screw that on. And remember, we didn't mess with that. So, let's turn the throttle and see if it's opening all the way. Yes. Is returning? Yes. Okay, we're good there. Now we'll put our dust boot back over that and we will tighten this down. And it don't have to be super duper tight. Just snug it up. There's that. Make sure your carburetor is all the way up in to the intake boot. There it is. You'll feel it like pop. Like a tight deal. Put this up here. And tighten this boot down. And it should be even because it's got a tab there that kind of goes into them two little rubber ears there and tighten this up until it's tight it'll stop so you don't have to worry about over tightening it or under tightening it just go until it stops it'll stop on its own there you go now let's put our air cleaner or our air breather box hook it back up I may have to get in your way for a minute but it goes on the same way there you go it just pushes on now if it doesn't take this take this rubber piece off right here heat you some water up on the stove just dip the end that you're having trouble with dip in the water for about two seconds bring it out and it'll go right on every time I know this because this wasn't hooked up when I got the bike and I couldn't get it on there so that's what I had to do won't hurt a thing guys so just make sure that you're real careful with that stuff and you'll be fine okay there's that now we're going to run our choke underneath that way it's out of the way of anything and we're going to plug it in over here make sure the green's green yellow's to yellow plug it in now now we're going to hook up our fuel line which I need to get I need to pick me up some fuel line because this one looks kind of cracked up here a little bit kind of dry cracking it's still limber but I don't like the cracks on, on a on a fuel line so let's get it hooked up see it's kind of kind of cracked up there so let's fix that real quick cut the end of it off so yeah I'll probably run a new fuel line on it this weekend and put it right back where you took it off of. There's only one place it'll go. Make sure it's all the way up on. There we go. And it is. And I'm going to get a new fuel filter for it. I did clean that filter, but uh yeah, it's all the way on. I did clean the filter. It's fine. But anytime you put a new carburetor on, it's always good to clean your filter. Alright, this does have a it does have a fuel pump and it does have an accelerator pump. So let's crank it over a couple times. Let it get some fuel into the carburetor. Now pump it a couple times up here with your throttle. Let's try it. Okay. What's going on? It may take it a minute to pump it up. I don't know what this is 
for. Never did find out what that's for. Okay. Uh, make sure ignition's on. There we go. It just took it a second. Now here's your idle mixture screw, your idle right there. You shouldn't have to mess with it, but when it's warm, if you have to, you gotta turn it down, just use a full up screwdriver. Right now I'm gonna let it warm up and see what it does. But don't ever adjust that when it's cold. Alright, much better. Okay guys. There you go. Uh, Whoa, guys don't want to see that ugly mug. Damn. All right, guys. Let me shut this off. So hopefully the sound came out the same way with putting the seat and you know that front cover. Just reverse order. It's real simple. These things are real simple. Of course, check for leaks. I'm going to do that. I'm going to let it run, let it get warmed up. See if the idle needs adjusted. It sounds pretty good right now. Sounds like it's a little more peppy, like it should be. So, um, that being said, guys, so there's how you put a carburetor on this thing. I still got to get a video up uh, when I put the electronics in. Bear with me. But anyway, here's one for you carburetor. This is a 2013, I do believe. Uh, it's a Propel. It's one of those Japanese little scooters. You can buy them brand new. I think it's a 50cc. You can buy them brand new for like, uh, I don't know, 15, 1600 bucks, depending on where you go to get them. That's online. You can buy them for that. Uh, it'll run me about 45. So, you know, it's just a good little scooter to ride around on, but I don't know if I want to resell it or keep it. She's kind of wanting to keep it, but, you know, I'm, I kind of bought it to resell, but I got it at a damn good price. I've got less than $200 in this thing, guys, so, uh, but I'm going to clean it up and everything and uh, get it running and take the first spin and see how it goes. So, listen, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Had a comment, somebody wants me to start vlogging. I'm going to see what I can do about that with work and everything like that. I may vlog while I'm at work. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, if not, I'll do some vlogging in between times. But uh, So it may not be a daily vlog, but I will do some vlog, uh, vlogging for you guys. I will do a vlog this weekend and see how it goes. How's that sound? Anyway, again, thanks guys so much for watching uh, my channel and monkey's channel we appreciate it monkey 1000 check her out give her a like give her a thumbs up subscribe she'll subscribe back i will do the same thing uh if you subscribe to me you haven't heard from me in a few days get a hold of me again and and remind me look i subscribe i will subscribe back so you know we're all in this together guys let's have fun let's enjoy things all right guys gotta go me and bruno we're out remember shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone bye bye now